Hey guys, welcome to my 36 week bump date. Four more weeks until maybe gets here. Maybe a little less, maybe a little more, but we are less than a month away from my due date and baby could really come anytime now. This week, baby is the size of a Cabbage Patch doll, which I think is really cute. Although those were more 80s toys, I don't know if I ever had a Cabbage Patch doll, but I know what they are. Baby is also the size of a papaya, a chihuahua dog, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, and it, he is also the size of a head of romaine lettuce. In regards to baby, the only thing that has not fully developed yet is his digestive system, and that honestly won't really be totally um, developed until he's outside of the womb and starts digesting milk. Baby is close to probably around 19 inches and about 6 pounds big. So he's basically full grown now. Um, all babies kind of differ on size, of course, but he's around there. Also, baby is shedding that lanugo and um, just starting to make that meconium poop even more, which is just great. <laughs> I'm sure Anthony's gonna love changing those diapers. As my pregnancy you know, gets more towards the end, I keep developing more uncomfortable symptoms. Of course, there's my back hurting, um, there's my ribs hurting, although that hasn't been too, too bad this week, I don't think. Um, not my rib, really, it's just like my back, and it just really hurts like at the end of the day. But the other day, I was having a lot of, um, like, cramping, like, it felt like I was on my period, and a lot of people are like, oh, it could be Braxton Hicks or it could be like labor signs, but I don't know if it was either of those or if it was just like my uterus stretching because it was just constant cramping. It wasn't like it would come and go and come and go. It was just constant. So I don't really feel like that was like anything other than maybe just stretching. I don't know, but it hurt and it hurt for a while. It was about maybe like 20 minutes of that and finally once I laid down on the couch it seemed to go away and I felt great ever since then so it's only been that one time. It happened the day after my doctor's appointment so I'm not sure if that had anything to do with it or what. Speaking of, I did have my doctor's appointment this week, my 36 week doctor's appointment. From now on, I will be going every single week, so every update from now on will have a doctor's appointment update for you guys, so I'll tell you about this one. Um, I went to my doctor's appointment, they took my temperature, they didn't tell me what my temperature was, but obviously it was fine because they didn't turn me away. Um, I left a urine sample, they got me before I headed back to the waiting room, it was dead, there was no one there. I usually go, um, in the late afternoons and it's always dead. Here and there I'll go in the mornings and that's usually more packed but in the afternoons there's like no one there. So anyway, they took my weight and I have gained about uh, 25 pounds still. 26. I haven't really weighed myself since last week but yeah, that's on track. And they took my blood pressure, which I knew it was going to be a little high. I just could not calm my heart for some reason. And I've been having instances where I'll just be sitting and my heart will start racing really fast. Um, it happens every now and then. I think it's just a result from the increased blood flow from baby. I don't feel like I have preeclampsia or anything like that. I haven't had a headache in a long time. If I do get headaches, it's mostly because I'm dehydrated and I drink some water and it goes away. Um, I haven't had really any swelling, like my um, ring still fits, my ankles are not like super swollen, so I don't think it's preeclampsia, I think it's just like my heart keeping up with all the extra blood flow. But my blood pressure was a little high, I think it was like 128 over 80 or 90, I can't remember, but it was a little high. But they didn't say anything about it, so I was happy about it. That. <laughs> I just don't want to have to do that 24 hour urine catch again. That was just ridiculous. I hated that. Um, 
They took me to my room. I did have to get undressed for this appointment because they were going to do the GB strap test. Root B strap test is what it was called. So I did that. My doctor came in. Um, we heard baby's heartbeat. 152, 153. So right on track. She didn't measure my belly with the tape. I don't know if she forgot or she's just not worried about it, but she didn't do that this time, so I'm assuming I'm measuring on track. She said looking at me, it did look like my belly was lower, which I also feel like my belly is lower. Feels like he's dropped a little bit. I mean, I still feel kicks like up high, but not as high as they were, I think. But I definitely do think he's lower. Um, she did my swab and she said she will tell me the results at my next appointment next week so I'm waiting to hear about that. Um, basically the test, they test all women at this point in pregnancy about 36 weeks and it's just kind of like a crapshoot whether you have it or not. Some pregnancies you have it, some you don't. I, I guess like the bacteria lives in all women and it's just at different points of your life it's like active and if it's active when you give birth and the baby somehow gets it then um, it could be really harmful to the baby and cause a lot of uh, defects I guess and so if you test positive the only thing that's different during your labor is you have to have antibiotics um, through an IV which isn't that big of a deal. I was negative with Grayson last time so we'll see how it is this time. Um, Either way, it doesn't really matter too much. So she did that. Um, she said that she can tell that baby is head down, which is so good. I'm so happy that baby is head down. Um, I figured he was, but she said, yeah, she could definitely tell, like, listening on the Doppler and stuff, like, his chest was way down low. So that was good. Um, she asked me if I was feeling any different symptoms, but really I haven't. I've been feeling pretty good for the most part. Um, she said she could check me if I wanted to to see if I was dilated at all, but I'm like, 36 weeks, that just seems super early to me, so we didn't. I'm assuming next week we will do a check to see, so stay tuned for that. But all in all, it was an uh, easy doctor's appointment, not too bad. I made a, another doctor's appointment next week, um, next Tuesday, and I'll be 37 weeks. So other symptoms? I've been still like really tired. I've been having trouble getting comfortable to go to sleep at night. I toss and turn and toss and turn and poor Anthony keeps him up, but he's a good sport about it. He never yells at me, but I cannot get comfy at night. I wake up in the middle of the night, then I can't fall back asleep. It's just not good. <laughs> I just am always so tired because I cannot sleep at night. I am peeing all the time. I am thirsty all the time, so I'm drinking a, a lot, a lot of water. Um, I'm not as hungry as I usually have been. I have not been snacking as much. I've really just been sticking to my three meals a day, and that's it. I might have some dessert of ice cream here and there, but other than that, like, I haven't been super hungry, so that's been kind of different. Let me show you my belly. So here is my 36 Belly. I'm actually wearing a tight shirt for you guys so you can see. Um, getting big. Do you guys, does it look like he's dropped? Let me know in the comments down below. Another symptom that I've been dealing with. The other morning I woke up and I had a Charlie horse in my left leg. And usually I can just flex my foot and it'll go away for the most part. But this one was really, really bad. So bad that I actually had to get up out of bed and stand on my foot to like force it to flex instead of point. And even then it took me a while to like ease my heel down so that I could be flat footed and then it went away. But that happened I think two days ago and my um, left calf is still sore from that. This has been like the worst Charlie horse so far that I've been dealing with. My belly definitely does feel huge. It feels a lot bigger. Um, I'm getting tired of being pregnant. I'm ready to have my body back and <laughs> to not um, be bumping into everything when I'm trying to like 
cut through something narrow. I always think I can fit through a narrow space and I'm like, oh, I'll just suck my belly in. And then I realize like I can't suck it in that much. So I'm ready for this baby to come. I've had a couple friends recently give birth and it's giving me all the baby fever. I just cannot wait for the cuddles and the snuggles. I have gotten more stuff done on my list this week, so I'm feeling better about it. I ordered a ton of stuff off Amazon. It's coming in the next couple days. Um, I ordered things like a double stroller, a book for Grayson for the baby to give him. I'm working on getting the godparent gift ready. I ordered a baby book so I can start on that for the baby, so I'm feeling better. Or on top of things this week I want to do I want to start packing the hospital bag and I need to get the bassinet up in my room and just have that ready to go baby is moving like crazy he has definitely picked up energy towards the end of this pregnancy he gets hiccups all the time now I swear I'm like how is it possible for you to get it that many times it was so funny I was telling Anthony this story the other day I was sleeping and I was dreaming and in my dream, I kept having like a kid, I don't remember if it was Grayson or a random kid, but somebody just kept tapping me and I kept trying to ignore it and it just kept tapping. And eventually it woke me up and I was so annoyed about it and then I realized the tapping was baby hiccuping over and over and over again and that's what woke me up. He's not even born yet and he's already waking me up out of my sleep. I'm in trouble. But he is moving a ton, still mostly in the evening, but really it's any time of the day. Um, I think it's just if I'm tuning into it or not that I realize it. But he is moving a ton, he's very active, and lots and lots of hiccups. I've been very um, gassy lately, which that isn't super fun to deal with. Um, I do have problems here and there if I sneeze. Um, sometimes if I have a full bladder, a little pee comes out and it's like super annoying. I need to do more Kegel exercises, but um, yeah, I've been dealing with that a lot. My breasts have started to get sore. Um, I did notice that just a few days ago. So I think that's it for this week. Um, stay tuned for next week. I'll be 37 weeks. I'll have another Dr. Supreme to update you guys on. We're getting close to the end here. You don't want to miss the birth, so make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!